she has these gestures that just emphasize her passion. Devour hands. She goes, yes. <laughs> I was raised in New Mexico, and I had a history teacher my senior year who introduced me to the idea who we are today is largely the product of those who have come before us. The church can't know where it's going unless it does remember its past. And that is what I knew I wanted to study. Not only needed to study, but needed to teach. She hits a home run as in terms of what we're looking for in our faculty here and what we'd like our students to aspire to be in their academic work. I've really sort of caught her vision of cherishing the church. She calls Christian history our family history. She's great at asking questions individualized to that person so you feel known. Megan, I think, would arguably be the brightest student that I ever engaged with as a CCU undergraduate. Her mind was working several levels ahead of uh, some of her professors, myself included. I see something in early Christian practice that I would like to continue today. And that's seeing education not as something separate from the Christian journey or something additional to the Christian journey, but seeing education as part of loving the Lord our God with all of our being. Emmanuel, God with us in every step of the journey. My husband and I have been married for 13 years. I've adopted daughter Nella, who's two and a half. I have a one-year-old son, Montgomery Daniel. I tried to name him Athanasius, and that didn't go over so well. One of the ways that I engage the reality of the incarnation is in hiking. I love the created world. I pray that they leave not only with a deeper sense of identity, but a stronger conviction of their own responsibility in the life of the church in the world.